Hello friends, this video on squares and square roots part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, have you ever thought of a scenario where only one member of the Pythagorean triplet is given to you and you are asked to find the remaining two members of the Pythagorean triplet. So how will you do that? So this can be a tedious task. Like it is something like this. I I just give you a number 5. So I give you 5 and then I say that make a Pythagorean triplet such that 5 is one of the members of the triplet. So how will you find the Pythagorean triplet? So this time you do not know both the other two numbers. So how would you find it out? Okay, so what I am going to do right now is I am going to give you a very simple trick that will help you to find out the members of Pythagorean triplet. Now there are two different tricks for odd and even numbers respectively. So our trick number one is for a given odd number like 5. 5 is an odd number, right? So for 5 we will apply this trick one. So what we do in trick one? So it is a simple three step trick. So these are the three steps of the trick. Step one, find the square of the given number. So in step one, you find the square of the given number that is five square. So five square would be 25. Step number two, divide it by two. So in step number two, you divide 25 by two. So how much do you get? You get 12.5. Step number three, the whole numbers between which it lies are the num members of the triplet. So 12.5, this is a decimal number, but 12.5 lies between two whole numbers. What are those whole numbers between which 12.5 lies? So 12 and 13. So between 12 and 13 lies 12.5. So 12 is a whole number, 13 is also a whole number. So 12 and 13 are the other members of the triplet. So your final triplet is 5, 12, 13. So that's simple. Yes, the trick is that simple. So you just need to remember these three steps. What? You are given an odd number. Let's take one more example. I think that will be better. So in this time, let's say that you are given a number 19 and you have to make a Pythagorean triplet. So 19 is an odd number. Perfect. So let's follow the steps. Step number one, we will square the number that is 19 square. So 19 square is 361. Step number two, divide it by two. So 361 divided by 2, which is equal to 180.5. Step number 3. What are the whole numbers between which 180.5 is located? It is located between 180 and 181. So therefore, 19, 180, 181 uh, forms the Pythagorean triplet. So 180 and 181 are the other two members of the Pythagorean triplet. Now, how do you verify that whatever we have done with this trick is giving the right results? So for verification, what we can do is let's see if these three numbers satisfy the relationship of Pythagorean triplet. So for that, what we will do, we will find out 19 square, add it to 180 square. So this comes out to be 32400 0 plus 361, which is equal to 32761. And now we will find out 181 square, which is equal to 32761. So we see that 181 square is equal to 19 square plus 180 square, which proves that they are a Pythagorean triplet. Now, another important thing to note here is with this trick, you will always be able to find out a Pythagorean triplet for a given odd number. But every time the given odd number would be the smallest member of the triplet. For example, in the first case, five was the given number. So if you look at the triplet, five is the smallest member of the triplet. Similarly, in this case, 19 was the given number and if you look at them all the three members you see that 19 is the smallest member of the triplet so with this trick every time whatever triplet you find out the given number would always be the smallest member of the triplet another important thing to note here is that 
With this trick, you will always be able to find a Pythagorean triplet for a given number. But that does not mean that that is the only triplet that you can get from that number. For example, here 5, 12, 13 is a triplet. But that doesn't mean that this is the only triplet where each of these numbers are participating. For example, 12 can be a part of another Pythagorean triplet also, where maybe 12 is the smallest number. Right? So there could be multiple triplets involving the same number that is possible and it is not possible that all the uh, possible triplets can be verified using this trick because this is just a trick which we have obtained by back calculation of the Pythagoras theorem formula. Okay. So let's look at trick number two which is going to be for an even number. So this is also a three step trick, but this time the steps are slightly different. So let's take an example of an even number. So let's say we consider six. So let's say six is the given number and we have to find out the remaining three, remaining two members of the triplet. So step number one is divide the given number by two. So this time you do not square, you first divide. So you divide six by two. So how much do you get? You get three. Second step, find its square. So now you squared 3. So 3 square is 9. In the third step, the whole numbers between which it lies are the members of the triplet. So this time 9 itself is a whole number. But we are not interested in 9. We are interested in the numbers which are located before and after 9. So 9 is located between 8 and 10. So that means 6, 8 and 10 these three form a Pythagorean triplet. So if you want again this case also you can verify it just by checking whether 6 square plus 8 square is equal to 10 square or not and you would see that it holds true. So that way 6, 8 and 10 form a Pythagorean triplet. Let's take another example. Let's say you are given a number 22 and you have to find out the remaining two members. Step number one, divide 22 by 2 which gives you 11. Step number two, square 11 that is 121. Step number three, 121 is located between which two numbers? 120 and 122. Therefore 22, 120 and 122. This forms a Pythagorean triplet. So in this fashion you need to remember tricks one and trick one and two for odd and even numbers respectively but please do remember that the given number in these tricks will always be the smallest member of the triplet and there exists many other triplets with the same number and all triplets cannot be covered by this trick so this trick applies this trick is helpful only when one number is given to you and you have to make you have to complete the triplet with that number so in that case this trick will work Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.